Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got anything on you, Chanel? No, nothing. Okay. Yeah. I'm turning the tizer up now. Okay. You move. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. I'll turn it back on. Tizer's like off. Rich. Right. Yes. Confirm something. Nice. You're under arrest on suspicion of murder. Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me again today. And this is the follow up to a story that we've been covering for the past year. I did an update just the other day in this video about the Warsaw gun runners as well. Today, one person has been convicted of murder and several of manslaughter and other charges. This happened outside a nightclub in Solihull, just outside of Birmingham. They was described in court as cowardly and they was jailed for a total of 51 years after the university student was stabbed outside a Solihull nightclub. Jack Donahue was punched, kicked and fatally stabbed in the chest as four people attacked him close to the Pop World nightclub that he'd just been inside in the early hours of November the 30th last year. The 21 year old was a student at Birmingham University and he died of tragic blood loss and less than four hours after he was set upon. The judge said they were tooled up and looking for a confrontation and trouble and earlier on there was antagonizing passers-by that was leaving a nearby bar as well. Terrell Blake, 21 of no fixed address, was convicted of his murder and assaults with intent to rob following a trial. He was jailed for a minimum of 23 years at Birmingham Crown Court on Monday, December the 7th. Niall Bennett, 22 from Erdington, was found guilty of manslaughter and violent disorder and Bennett was sentenced to nine and a half years. Regan Waters from Stetchford and Connor Moore, 20 from Litchfield, both admitted manslaughter. Moore was sentenced to seven and a half years and Waters, who also pleaded guilty to assault with intent to rob, was jailed for 11 years. Moore initiated the violence and he accepted that he did not intend the group to attack him so viciously. The judge told him that you chose to involve yourself in this attack and I accept that you weren't aware that Blake had a knife on him and that you are now 21 and suffer from ADHD. In a statement read to the court, his devastated mother said, The shock rushed through me. I was told Jack had been stabbed and the doctor told me they'd done everything they could. Jack's dad had to learn that his son died by a phone call. I saw my son lying dead in a hospital trial. He was fun loving and happy and never felt down. He could always make you feel better. He had just turned 21 and was planning his future ahead. And today the police, with their family's approval, have released the footage from the actual incident where they meet Jack outside the nightclub and things escalate to resulting in him being stabbed. He's fighting for his life against four people before he unknowingly is stabbed in his chest. He then checks his chest and also follows them as they leave the scene of the crime as well. And this definitely shows the serious nature of what can happen on nights like this when people are out and about and they think that it is just a good time out or if they're out for trouble and the consequences of these sort of situations. One of these young men has got to spend the majority of his life in prison now. So my condolences to the family of Jack Donahue and rest in peace as well. I really want to hear what people have to say on this story. Please don't forget to leave your comments below and follow us online at Scar City Studios. There's plenty of news on the way and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.